Hello everyone, this is Sayyad Musa Kaleem and today I'm gonna give you a brief introduction on Ionic 2. So you may be asking what is Ionic 2 and what it is used to create which type which kind of mobile apps you will be built using Ionic 2. So you can create hybrid mobile apps using Ionic. It's a popular framework, hybrid mobile framework you you could create mobile apps which runs on all operating systems like android windows and ios so we'll see the brief introduction of it uh, basically you can build apps with web technology like html css and javascript and you know and love and it is free and open source and it is fully cross platform and it has premier native plugins like camera the file system of phones all things all native things are present in ionic framework you could access those native plugins easily and it has a first class documentation as well this is the ionic 2 stats 8.5 million in funding 8.5 million dollars in funding that's a lot of money and there are almost 4 million million apps running on Ionic framework and there are 29,000 stars on github top 40 OSS project and we'll see a quick introduction to Ionic 2 Ionic 2 is built on top of angular angular is a popular framework by google to create cross-platform web applications so it is built on top of angular Code your apps in JS, JavaScript, uh, that is ECMAScript 5, which uses the standard of ECMAScript, ES5, or TypeScript. And it leverages with all popular task runners like Gulp, Grunt, and a lot more. And it supports, it supports all CSS pre-compilers like SAS, LESS, SCSS. And it has a custom HTML tags with full control. Uh, I'll show you in the next video how we can use the custom HTML tags in Ionic 2 and it, it integrates with Apache Cordova whenever you run your Ionic app Apache Cordova will run your app in the backend so Apache Cordova it's a, it is like a compiler between your application and the hardware so it runs your Ionic app on the machine now we'll see you might be wondering what is TypeScript TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript and it has a standard uh, it, it has a standard sets of attributes like classes functions and all it is a superset of JavaScript it compiles JS to the clean JS output and it will be easier with TypeScript to build fully functional apps TypeScript is being used in Ionic apps nowadays so TypeScript is a best language to get started with Ionic. Now we'll see how we can code in TypeScript and what is the syntax of TypeScript. So this is the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript. So on the left side you can see here this is the TypeScript part and this one is the JavaScript part. So if you are a web developer then you must know about the JavaScript if you know javascript then easily you can understand what is typescript and how it works and what are the main objectives of typescript so using this way you can create your class in typescript class demo i have created one class called demo here and i am giving a variable called message which is of type string uh, this colon represents the type of the variable which is string now and I am creating a one constructor in the class and I am giving a parameter called info which is of type string again and this dot message in this message I am storing this information and now I am calling a function called show and I am returning hello plus this dot message so this way you can write your code in typescript so this is all this was all about the typescript now let's move on to the javascript part 
I am creating one variable called demo inside that variable I am calling a anonymous function and inside this function and inside that anonymous function I am calling a function called show and this dot message equals to info this is the normal variable in JavaScript and I am returning hello plus this dot message so this is the difference between JavaScript and TypeScript so this is the little introduction to TypeScript we'll see later how it works and how we can use TypeScript in our Ionic applications so let's move on and we'll talk about the Cordova plugins as I have said that Cordova has a native functionality of all operating systems like Android, iOS and Windows you could access the camera, you could access the file system of mobiles it has a native API as well and these are some features of Cordova plugins like these are few plugins of Cordova which, uh, which covers battery, camera, contacts, GPS and file system and there are a lot more plugins available in Apache Cordova and you can also push notifications which is native notifications and it has some different functionality as well like vibration and in-app purchases so let's move on to the next slide and we'll talk about Ionic tools Ionic tools have two major tools Ionic creator and another is Ionic cloud using Ionic creator you can create your Ionic apps online uh, which is uh, present at the website called ioniccreator.com just simply you need to drag and drop all the native uh, elements are present in Ionic creator after creating your Ionic app on Ionic creator you could download and you could zip that file and you could import that zip file to the Visual Studio 2015 and you can you could get started with that so this was about the Ionic creator Ionic cloud Ionic cloud host your Ionic apps to the cloud you could run your Ionic apps to the Ion on the Ionic cloud as well so these are the two major import uh, these are the two major Ionic tools which you could use while creating your Ionic apps so let's move on to the next slide and we'll see the app which is built on Ionic this is one application called Pixify which is built using Ionic and we'll see the architecture of Ionic app in Visual Studio 2015 as you can see here this is index.html which will which will be the entry point for your Ionic application so I'm gonna open the solution explorer and I'm gonna show the architecture of Ionic app as you can see here all dependencies which is divided into subcategories called Bower and NPM so this is the part of dependencies you could plug your dependency under this section and you can see here the app folder inside this app folder you have one file called app.ts this is the main file of your application which runs or which will be called first so this is your root file of your project you can say so these are some hooks we'll talk about this later these are the merges and as I have shown you in the introduction part about the plugins so plugins folder contains all plugins which is installed in this project so I have these plugins installed in my project you can see here plugin console plugin device plugin splash screen status bar whitelist and keyboard ionic plugin keyboard so these are few plugins which I have installed in my project and these are this is the resource resources folder inside this you can see three different subfolders one for Android and another for iOS and the last one is for the Windows so as Ionic creates hybrid mobile apps this resources maintains all those three folders which needs to be run on all operating systems and this is the folder of SCSS and inside this we have our CSS of this Ionic app and this is the typings folder and under that we have one folder called globals 
and inside that folder I have Angular, Cordova, Cordova, Ionic, Ionic and jQuery jQuery this folder is the jQuery mobile framework which is used to create responsive dynamic and fully functional mobile apps so dub dub root this is the main folder which will be called first for the CSS for the images and for the JS as you can see here we have four different folders inside this ww root folder and inside this also we have a folder called index.html as I have said this will be called first and this will be the entry point of your application as well and these files are pretty important for your project to run your project on the mobile app bower.json this file also contains the dependencies which will be needed for this project and taco.json this one is pretty important for your project as this file contains dependencies and Cordova CLI version part so Cordova CLI command line interface you can create Cordova apps using command line as well which is Cordova CLI so this taco.json file contains that version of Cordova CLI and we have package.json inside this we have all dependencies installed if you want to install any dependencies just go ahead to this file and give the name of that dependency and select the version of that so this is the package.json file and also we have Cordova plugins installed here and the Cordova platforms as well Android, iOS and Windows and so this is the architecture and a quick introduction to Ionic framework hope you understand this video hope you like this video don't forget to watch my upcoming videos on Ionic framework and please like and subscribe my channel share my videos with your friends don't forget to watch my next videos which will be on Ionic framework we'll create a simple to do app in the next in the next video thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video